In this video, we review the new AVD feature that allows multiple user assignments in a single host pool. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome to Seraltos. Coming up, we review a new feature now at GA that lets us assign multiple users to a single personal host pool in Azure Virtual Desktop. And stick around to the end for some important information to know before you use this feature. Before that, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. That helps others find this channel and is greatly appreciated. Check out my courses on AVD, Windows 365, Hybrid Identities with Enter ID, and a Beginner's Guide to the AZ900. Links are below. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. Back to it. Some users may need access to multiple session hosts in AVD. One for development and a second for testing, for example. In the past, this would require two host pools because it wasn't possible to give the same user access to multiple desktops in a host pool. That changes with the new multiple desktop assignment option available in AVD. Now we can give a user access to multiple desktops in a personal host pool. This reduces the number of host pools required in an organization and the amount of administrative effort to manage those pools. This feature only works with personal desktops. These are session hosts dedicated to a user. Unlike pooled host pools where a user logs into any available session hosts, there's a one-to-one -one mapping between the user and the computer in a personal host pool. Let's enable this feature in the portal next, but stick around to the end to review some important details about using multiple personal desktop assignments. Here we are in the AVD portal. Let's start by creating a personal host pool with multiple assignments. We'll add a host pool. Add the required information to the basic settings, including subscription, resource group, host pool name, and location. This will not be a validation environment and make sure the preferred app group type is desktop. The host pool type has to be personal for multiple assignments. Also, we need to set this host pool for direct assignment type. The option for multiple assignments is not available with automatic. Once the assignment type is set to direct, we can enable multiple desktops for a single user. The rest is the same as any other personal host pool deployment. This example will add two session hosts to the pool. The video will pause here and come back once the new host pool is available. The host pool deployment finished, and we're now at that host pool. If we go to Settings Properties, it shows the direct assignment type with the option to assign multiple desktops to a single user enabled. We can't change this option once it's enabled. Next, let's configure an existing host pool for multiple assignments. Let's open an existing personal host pool and go to Settings Properties. This host pool is set to the automatic assignment type. A user will get assigned the next available session host the first time they log in. Let's change it to direct assignment type. Now we have the option to enable assigning multiple desktops for a single user. Let's select that option. Once we save, we cannot disable this feature or change the assignment type. We'll click save. We have to refresh the page to see the new settings. Now the direct assignment type and use multiple desktops for a user is enabled. We can't change these settings once they've been enabled. Now that we have a personal host pool with multiple desktops for a user enabled, let's add our users. From the host pool, go to Manage Application Groups. Select the default desktop group. Go to Manage Assignments. Select Add. We'll add a group with all the users that will use this personal host pool. Or you could add each user individually. Next, we'll go back to the host pool. Let's go to Manage, Session Hosts. Click the checkbox next to the desktop we want to assign. Go to Assignment and select Assign User. Search for and select the user to add. Test user one for this example. If you don't see the user here, make sure they were assigned to the default desktop group in the previous step. 
Click assign an OK to the verification prompt. That assigns the user to the first session host. Let's assign the same user to the second session host with the same steps. We'll select the session host. Go to assignments and assign a user. We'll select the same user. Assign and OK. Now the user is assigned to two session hosts in the pool. Now that we have the user assigned, let's log in. We'll use the new Windows app for this, but the AVD or web client will have a similar result. The two session hosts from the personal host pool show up for the one user, and we can log into both. But the names are a little confusing. At least they will be for the end user. Let's update the friendly name next. We'll do this with PowerShell and the update AZ WVD session host command. At the time of this recording, the only way to add a friendly name is with the PowerShell command. It's a simple command. We need to specify the host pool name, session host name, resource group, and friendly name. The command is on the screen. We can get the information we need from the portal except for the friendly name. We have to supply that. This command is available in a link below. By the way, I'm only using PowerShell ISE because it formats the commands and makes it a little easier to read. We could connect to Azure with PowerShell to run the command. For this example though, let's open Cloud Shell. To start out, let's make sure that we're connected to the correct subscription with the get az context command. That looks good. Once you've verified your subscription, then copy and paste the first command. The first session host will be a development desktop for this example. That looks good. Now let's do the same, but for the second session host. It looks like there's a little issue with pasting in the cloud shell but the command did finish successfully. Let's go back to the Windows app. We need to refresh the app. The user could log out and back in, or we can use the refresh button at the top. Now our friendly names show in the app. It also shows the friendly name in the connection bar. The AVD client also updated the friendly names. That is how we configure a personal host pool for multiple assignments and update the friendly name on the session hosts. That is how to enable multiple personal desktop assignments in AVD. Before you enable this feature, keep the following information in mind. As mentioned in the demo, this feature won't work with automatic assignments. It only works with personal host pools using the direct assignment method. Direct assignment requires the administrator to assign the desktop to a user before they can log in. FS logics can be used in a pool with multiple assignments. However, I recommend against using FS logics in this configuration. Personal host pools don't require FS logics because users get the same desktop every time they log in. The profile can be local. Using multiple assignments with FS logics where desktops share a single profile gets complicated. This is because VHD and VHDX files don't allow read and writes from multiple connections. When shared, the profile container must be configured with the profile type set to multiple connections. With a multiple connection type, the first connection gets read-write access to the profile. Subsequent connections are read-only. The read-only profile is deleted when the user logs off, not written back to the profile. This could lead to confusion or lost data if the user saves to the read-only profile. A better option is to use local profiles and OneDrive's known folder redirection feature to synchronize data across desktops, or if necessary, assign a profile to each desktop session so each desktop has a different FS Logics profile. Also, once the host pool is enabled for multiple personal desktops, it can't be changed back. And finally, use friendly names to help the users identify the desktop. At the time of recording, the only way to update a session host friendly name is with PowerShell. Changing friendly names is not available in the portal yet. The process is simple, but does require PowerShell. I hope that helps you better understand the new multiple personal desktop assignment option in AVD personal host pools. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.